What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're gonna be checking out this Gen Y Phantom X. It's gonna be an adjustable ball mount. It's got five receivers stacked on top of each other and has a 10 inch rise and drop. Let's check it out. With the pin removed, I wanted to show you how it adjusts as a ball mount. So you just drop it in one of the receivers, whichever one you need. And you can use the different accessories from Gen Y. So you can use the dual ball setup. We have the single ball here. Now it doesn't come with the ball. You have to buy that separately. The reason the adjustable ball mount is so nice is, is because if you have to different trailers of different heights, matching them to a truck, you don't have to have a bunch of different assemblies in the back of your truck. That's taking up a lot of space. This way you can easily and quickly adjust to the height you need to level them both out. Now it does fit two inch receivers. We have a reducer on our receiver today to make sure it fits in there, but it fits in there nice. And I like that it has the black powder coat on the outside. That way I don't have to worry about leaving it on here all the time. The weather is not gonna bother at all. It's not gonna rust or corrode. It's gonna come with one pin for the accessory. I recommend getting the Infinite Rule Locks like we have here today. If you're gonna invest in this, you might as well get something so you can lock it up to the hitch and then lock the accessory in place on the ball mount. Taking a look at the assembly itself, it is heavy duty looking and I like that compared to the B&W adjustable ball mounts. Those are a little sleeker. They're still heavy duty, but this one actually looks it. So I could like that it looks the part and I don't have to worry about it. It's got the black powder coat finish over the steel. So leaving it in the bag of hitch all the time, it's not gonna rust a crow. Those elements aren't gonna bother it. The Phantom X can handle 7,000 pounds of gross trailer weight rating, and it's got a gross tongue weight rating of 700 pounds. So just make sure you check your hitch in your trailer and don't exceed that. It's gonna have a one inch diameter hole for the ball. You have to pick that up separately. We have them on the website as well. Today we have a two inch one put on here. You're gonna make sure you wanna to torque that to specifications before you tow with it. Now we have it in the rise position like I talked about earlier. So this is gonna be 10 inches of rise here. Be careful when you do have it in this position, you don't wanna lower the tailgate. It is gonna make contact. Overall, I do like this ball mount. I like, like I said, how heavy duty it is. Now, if it's an issue that it sticks out all the time and that bothers you, there is another option. There's just the Gen Y Phantom without the X, and that one can fold up underneath the truck. So that way it's out of the way when you're walking back and forth out here. It's out of the way your tailgate. It is a nice feature for it. BMW also offers the tow and stow. So those are options to look into. If you don't like it just being here all the time and you want to store it underneath, there is an option for that. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.